It's 10 trivia questions from the TV show Family Feud with my brother, Scott Buds. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be? And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. I am back after a long hiatus. We had the holiday season. I had my brother visiting, and I did not prepare for episodes to be posted. So I have four episodes going up today to catch up on all the trivia madness. Guys, the year is almost over. 2019, going out with a bang and 2020 will be here in just a few days. In the next few days, we'll be doing some rounds, um, some episodes on 2019 year in review. So be on the lookout for those. And I found a very cool resource on a website of a bunch of cool stuff from 2019. Things like name the winner of these events and awards. And you have to name um, who won the Emmy for best TV comedy musical, for example. So we're going to do a lot of fun stuff like that over the next few days if you're listening and looking for some end of the year content. We also did something similar for 2018 and 2017. So if you want trivia on the end of the year, you can go back the last three years from 19, 18, and 17 and find some episodes. Just search that year and like the words in review or yeah, yeah, I think it's like 2018 year in review and trivia with buds on anything and it should come up. So be on the lookout for all that cool stuff. Some changes coming to the podcast in the form of cool new videos in 2020. Starting in uh, just a few days, I'll be doing videos for every single episode of the podcast that gets posted. So if you want to watch over on YouTube, I'm going to start recording these. I'm going to start recording uh, Monday through Monday, all in one day. So every Monday, I'm going to go to a different venue of mine and record the audio there and the video and post all that stuff so that it goes out every single day. And that will hopefully help me stay up on all of the lagging episodes as of late for the new start, the new fresh start of 2020. So I'll have new video for every episode in a new location every week. And I'll have, I'll still have guests. I'll still have uh, Skype phone call episodes, all that good stuff, but I'm just going to make an effort to go somewhere outside of my house. So I actually get the work done and get it posted and ready to go. And that should hopefully help if you wanted to watch more stuff on the show instead of just listening to it. I did have a commenter on YouTube who said, how do you have Patreon subscribers with, if this view only, (laughs) how do you have Patreon subscribers if this YouTube video only has two views? Uh, To which I replied, most people listen to it as a podcast and it just automatically gets uploaded to YouTube. But people on YouTube are very like, if it's, if it's on YouTube, what's like, it's not anywhere else. Right. You know? So, uh, people that like that platform really want things to be on there in a certain way. And they want the trivia to start at a very specific time that is noted in the video or the video just needs to start with the thing that they want. That's what I found from YouTube comments. But, uh, Hey, can't please everybody. I do my best. Thank you guys so much for your support over 2019. I really appreciate it. You can uh, always jump on Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, throw a few bucks my way. I'll send some cool stuff your way. I just sent out everything today on the very last couple days of the year here for uh, November and December rewards. So we are also going to start January, 2020 brand new all fresh newsletter, all that stuff's going to be on time. And you will get those rewards if you're a Patreon member and you get stuff in the mail at one of those tiers. And I will be switching up some of the rewards for January. And again, in a couple of weeks, probably in the first week of January, I'm going to send out all the stuff for January. So it starts to get to you sooner rather than at the end of each month. And you can kind of enjoy it a little earlier in the month. So With all that said, here's one fun fact I read about Family Feud. Today's episode is all about Family Feud. We have five questions on... Uh, from me and five questions from my brother, Scott, who was visiting this past week. And we go back and forth trying to guess what the five answers would be for the family feud question from the show. But here's a fun fact. Uh, this is on mentalfloss.com, an article on fun facts about family feud. Uh, the, the number four fact says Dawson ended up marrying a contestant. In 1981, one of the contestants Dawson kissed ended up being his second wife. He kissed Gretchen Johnson and her family won $12,659. And in 1991, 10 years later, 
later, they were married. So that's a fun little fact for you going into today's episode. Have fun with Scott and I's chat on the show and play along and see if you can get the ones we came up with for the responses to Family Feud. Here we go. Sitting here in my house, recording a rare episode with a guest, and that guest is my older brother, Scott Buds. What's up, Scott? What's up, Ryan? How you doing? You're out here visiting in California. How do you uh, enjoy your trip so far? Uh, It feels like I've been here two weeks, uh, but that's a good thing, because that means we've been doing a lot, so. You got here on uh, Christmas Day. Uh, My mother-in-law, Tanya, made some prime rib for everybody. That was really good. And what are some other highlights of your trip? Well... Um, let's see. We have gone to some cool outdoor malls. Uh, got rained on. We went to some crazy social place with a lot of weird people. Played some wall scrabble, some bowling, uh, ping pong, each of those which you failed to win. Oh my God. I haven't won one thing since we started. We played uh, scrabble on the wall at this place. We played ping pong. Like you said, I've lost pool. We played pool last night. I lost every game of pool. I have not beaten you in anything. Which is uh, rare. Usually, it's I can pretty, it's something. pretty, pretty uh, usually the same, right? Okay. Uh, you got to come with me to one of my events. I did a bingo at a beer tasting at a family's party. Uh, my friends Mark and Christy had us over. That was kind of cool. You got to taste a bunch of beers while I hosted some bingo for people sitting around a large table. That could have turned into like a murder mystery dinner pretty easy, you know? It, it was very, uh, yeah, I've never seen anything like it, but it looks like if you're into that thing, it looked like it was, they were having a good time. Of course. And then we also went, to, I took you to one of my favorite local haunts, which is called Gizka's Bingo Supplies. And you got to meet this old couple who just sell bingo supplies. Yeah, that was a trip. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Um, how they stay uh, how they stay open over there, but uh, yeah, it seems like you're their their only customer. Oh, when I come in, they're like, "Please take whatever you want." I'm like, <laughs> tell oh, your okay. tell your friend. Tell your friend. It's a very specific thing, but uh, great prices. If you need some bingo supplies in San Dimas, let me know. Uh, today we are doing a quick episode on family feud related questions. I've been asked to do a lot of family feud parties lately, so I bought some new equipment, and I thought it'd be fun to do some questions. So I'll give you. Um, the question, and then I want you to try and come up with the five things that would be on the board if you were playing Family Feud. And I think you found some for me too. So we'll go back and forth with five each. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, here we go. This is your first question. Give me a slang term for someone who is afraid. A slang term for someone who's afraid. What do you think the top? By the way, all these are five answer questions. So there's only five answers on the board. And there's no vulgar answers, I take it? No. Um, How about a scaredy cat? Scaredy cat is... The first number one answer. That's 55 points if you were playing. So you got Scaredy Cat. Nice job. You have four more. Slang uh, term for someone who's afraid. Someone who's afraid, uh, a, I don't know, a, a wuss. Wuss would be, a, I would say that, but it's not on here. I think I will give you Sissy for that one. Sissy <laughs> was number on the very bottom. Two point, two point answer for Sissy. Yellow? That's like wuss. Yellow is not on here either. Chicken. chicken. Chicken is number two, 24, yeah. Yellow was a like back in the day, like yeah, yeah. yella. That like, guy's uh, yella. Uh, back to the Future, he calls him yella. Doesn't yeah, he? I think you're right. And Back to the Future three, he calls him a chicken or something. something One of like those two. All right, uh, do you want the other two? Let's reveal. Yeah, them. we'll go. Punk ahead. and coward. So you did not get those, uh, but you got the other three. So fifty five plus twenty four plus two, fifty five and twenty six. I do have to write that out because I don't know how to add stuff. Seventy five, eighty one points. You would have got eighty one points there. So nice job. All right, what's your first question for me? All right, I found one here that says, name a garment you'd probably find in the dressing room for a pro wrestling event. Really? Yeah. A, a, a boa? Is that on there? Uh, it is not on here. Oh, that's the first thing I think of. Uh, leotard. Leotard is the last one, number seven. Interesting. Am I writing this down? Uh, sure. All right. How about tights? Tights would be number one, right? Okay, so tights and leotard. You wear the, the required uniform. Uh, makeup, like face paint, does that count? Uh, Not really. A mask is on a there. Mask. I'll give you that. A belt, championship yep. belt. That's got to be on That's there. That's on there. That's number five. And how about? Um, I don't get the second. Well, the second one is like what part is of the first one. It just says shorts. Oh, yeah, that's kind of. That's part of tights, I guess. Is that all of them? Uh, there was also cape. Okay. Oh, yeah. A lot of wrestlers, I guess they do wear capes. And you miss, what does flair wear? A robe. A robe. Oh, that's a go. good one. Very good. All right. Number two, name a place where cowboys hang out. A saloon. That's number one. Uh, a brothel. 
that should be on here. I think they're kind of counting that with saloon and the bar. Cowboy hangs out at a rodeo. Rodeo. Yeah, there you go. Maybe some. Uh, I don't know uh, a country bar or a, where already did that. Yeah, so, bar and saloon. Three other uh, ones. A cowboy would hang out at a ranch. Yep, that's number two. Or a farm. Yeah, ranch was number two. Well, I'll count farm range is the last one. Find him on the range, and then one. The last one's a state. Uh, Montana, Texas. <laughs> Come on, Montana <laughs> over Texas. I don't know. Come on. All right, you did pretty good on that one. What's your next question? Uh, name a place you visit where you aren't allowed to touch anything. Oh, number uh, one strip got... club's not on here. <laughs> oh, it is on here. Is it? Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> Gentlemen's Club. I would say museum for sure. Yeah, that's number one. 68. Okay. 68 people. All right. Uh, uh, can't touch stuff at a uh, art gallery? Or is that the same as museum? Yeah. No, that's probably the same. Uh, can't touch stuff at a funeral. <laughs> no? Where no. Can't you touch stuff? Oh, like a celebrity event? Something like that? Uh, it says baseball. At a baseball I, game? I guess. Can't touch people at a baseball? Name a place you visit. It just says baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like, I got to get out there and touch the baseball. <laughs> I don't know anymore. What are the other ones? Uh, the zoo. Don't touch uh, the animals, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. And uh, like a China, ch- China shop. Like uh, an antique, antique shop. shop. Don't touch that. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Here's number three. Name a famous fictional island. A famous fictional island? Mm-hmm. Fantasy island? Fantasy island's number two. 29 points if you're playing at home. The Island of Dr. Moreau. That is on here. It says dot, 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 of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> that was the last answer. So that was like the three point one. Uh, Skull Island? Isn't that where uh, Kong was at? That would be a good answer, but it's not on here. The big number one, you'll, you'll know that one for sure. Um, I think you can get is, it. Is this something island? Yeah. The, there's two that are something island, and then there's one that's just uh, one word. It's pretty tough. Mm. I'll give you the tough one. Atlantis. That's not an island, though, is it? No, it's, I thought it's that like was an under, undersea thing. Yeah. Okay, so that one sucks. But uh, the first one, Gilligan's Island. Uh, I Gilligan's never watched island. one episode of that. And Treasure Island. Treasure Island. All right, number three, what do you got? <laughs> Name something that you wear that you can't wash in the machine. Like you can't put in a washing machine. A bra. That's number two. Mm. There's seven answers. Like lingerie? Is that also there? Or is it nope. Like that? That's not on there. These are, I'm just thinking of the stuff I wear, you know? Uh, let's see. Something you can't put in the washing machine that you wear. Costume? Uh, no. Tuxedo? Uh, coat. Kind of coat. Is coat. On. Mm. Like you can't put your coat. I guess, yeah, certain types of coats. Tuxedo. Pajama. No, you wash pajamas. Oh, suit. Suit's on here. Suit would be like a yeah, tuxedo. Number six. All right. Uh, You're missing the big number one. Something you, something you wear every day. That you can't, you can't wash? can't wash in the washing machine. What the hell is it? Gloves? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dexter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a murder room. A kill room. Uh, I have no idea. What is it? A shoe, man. Oh, see, I so wash you my your shoes. shoe, a hat, a coat, sweater. I wear I wear sketches of course, that are made of wool. And you a gown. Size. You could wash them right in there, right in the box. Here's no number wool. four. Name the worst thing a policeman could find in your car when he pulls you over. Dead grandmother. Dead body. Last Dead one. Dead body. Um, I like that that's the last one. Is it really? The most trouble. <laughs> uh, open alcohol. Yep, that's number two. A weapons. And that's number three. Something you don't want them to find, mm-hmm. and I haven't gotten number one yet. <laughs> no, uh, you'll get it. You'll figure it out. You don't want them to find. Open yet. alcohol is number two. This is a number one. Oh, uh, any kind of drugs? Yes, drugs. Yeah. Fifty nine. And the other one's stupid. It says underwear or bra. Why would the cop be like, "What's this? <laughs> what are you doing?" I'd be like, "That's my underwear." He's like, "Oh, all right, okay." Number four for you. We got a couple more of these to go. Name something a customer might do to annoy a waitress. Uh, bad tip. Yep. That's number two. Ask for too much stuff. Uh, too many requests? Something like that? No. No? All right. Well, uh, it has to do with requests, I guess. Uh, lots of changes to the order? Stuff like that? That's good, but... Uh, well, but send food back is number food. one. Got it. All right. Send food back. Not and tipping. bad tip. And then too loud? No, that's a good one too. I would think that yeah. obnoxious, obnoxious customers loud. would drunk. be drunk. Ooh, drunk. No. Hmm. 
uh, think of too uh, large of a group. No. Think of maybe a rowdy, a rowdy guy that has been, that is drunk. What what might he do to a waitress? Hit on her, like yeah, like flirt, flirt is number three, and then uh, spills drinks, like not uh, yeah, make her not clean up. Him. Yeah, sure. And uh, snap your fingers, hey. Right. Oh, nobody does that, do they? Have you ever done that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I can no. see you doing it. Yeah, Here's right. number five, last one. Name something a teenager might use to cover a hickey on their neck. Uh, clear a cell. <laughs> makeup, we'll say makeup. makeup. Yep. Um, Isn't clear a cell clear? Paint? I don't know. What else would you paint? use? Paint? you just <laughs> painting your neck. You're like, no hickey here. Well, just rolling. What else are you going to put on there besides <laughs> just, makeup? Just rolling it on like a house. <laughs> no hickey over here. Um. Think of items, clothing, stuff like that. Oh, scarf. Okay. Scarf's number two. Turtleneck. Turtleneck's number three. Uh, another scarf. Uh, collar. Okay. And the last thing, Band-Aid. Nelson. Oh, I, remember, yeah. I remember Nelson did that for sure. My friend Steve Nelson. Shout out, Steve Nelson. Hickeys. Last question. What do you got? Any good? Name something people buy to show that they are successful. Rolex watch, watch, something like that. Watch is not on there. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Number three, jewelry. New car. Car is number one. New house. Number two. Boat. Five. One more. Interesting. And uh, scarf. Well, suit. <laughs> is it suit? Yeah. yeah. Rick Ric Flair robe. That's what I'm going to buy. When I, when I become a millionaire, I'm only wearing glitter robes out of the house. There you go. I cover up all my hickeys. Scott, that was a fun little episode of Family Shoot. Feud. We did it. We did 10 questions. And... Uh, we made it to the end. Anything you want to promote for your uh, life? Uh, no, just don't 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 buy uh, don't buy headphones on your way to the airport without <laughs> checking them first because you'd be stuck on a five hour flight <laughs> with zero headphones because they didn't work. They were you had to charge them. Oh, and they just brutal. didn't charge. I just sat there and stared <laughs> <laughs> like putty on yeah, that long dude. flight on Seinfeld. I did. Well, we got you a new pair as uh, as for being a guest on the show. So you got those. They're charging they're right charging now. right now. Uh, cheers! Thanks for being on. Cheers, brother. There it was, everybody. Family feud style questions with my brother, Scott Bud. Scott, thanks for visiting and being on the show. He'll be on another episode very soon where he asks me about one hit wonder 90 songs. So if you like that kind of thing and you like Scott's voice, get ready for that. Uh, we have a question of the day coming at you right now, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Who did the voice of sadness in the movie Inside Out? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Smelly Cat for Phoebe's song on Friends. And your trivia team name of the day is Biblio Taken instead of Taka. Biblio Taken, like the movie with Liam Neeson. Guys, go to Funky Monkey Designs at fmdesignsinc.com. I would love for you to go support them, get something printed, get something made for your next big event where you have to hand stuff out. That's what they specialize in. T-shirts, books, notebooks, bags, whatever you need. They can do it for you at fmdesignsinc.com. Funky Monkey Designs. Click the link in the show notes. And remember, you can save 25% when you use the code BUDS25 on drewblank.com if you need any cool customized, very neat pop culture artwork. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.